A few days ago, my husband and I took a spontaneous weekend trip to Cologne, Germany. Even though some friends, including Germans, thought it was a bad idea, why not visit more interesting places? There's really nothing special to see in Germany, they said. But after a little research and finding this beautiful Airbnb apartment, we left for Germany to see things for ourselves. After all, blessed are the curious so they shall have adventures, said Lovell Drachman. So come along with us on this trip and let's find out the good and not so good sides of this 2000 year old German city together. On this three hour drive to Cologne, I had the enormous task of keeping a very active toddler in our seat for the whole journey. <laughs> Please don't ask me how many picture books we read or how many songs we played. That's a story for another day. Our first stop was this supermarket because what better way to experience a city than food? I have a cold, so my voice sounds raw. Apologies for that. After helping my husband to find the perfect beer and admiring all the flowers in the shop, as always, we continued our journey to our cozy shelter for the weekend. If you're a bread lover, there's good news for you. Germany has small flavors and delicious bread compared to the ones we find here in the Netherlands. Good morning. Today is day two of our road trip to Germany, and I'm taking you along with me to Cologne. I've read the good and the bad. I don't know what to expect. I'm going to take you along with me, and then we'll find out about Cologne together. I was really curious about this city because I did read a comment in one video of a tourist that said that the city smelled of cigarettes and urine. I kept wishing this wasn't the case anymore. Or maybe we won't get to that part of Cologne, but alas, we walked right into it. This area outside of the train station where we parked our car. Well, we forgot about that in no time when we were greeted by this beauty. You can see this beautiful and magnificent building and still remember the unpleasant things in your life. No way. Sadly, we couldn't explore the cathedral from inside. But we did notice, notice that some part of the cathedral was still under renovation and an outdoor elevator was used to take people to the top of the building. Then we headed to explore other parts of the city. If you're wondering how nice German beer is, well, I don't drink beer, so I can't say. But my beer lover husband didn't really enjoy the beer we bought. I guess we bought the wrong one, maybe. This is where you can get your ticket if you want a bottle around the Rhine River. We are heading to the bridge now, to cross the bridge, so we can get a good view from up there at the bridge. So let's go, come with us. Fun fact, the Rhine River is actually the second longest river in Europe and it flows through six countries, Switzerland, Germany of course, France, Austria, Liechtenstein and the Netherlands. And so it makes it an international river, I would say. Before dragging my tired self back to our lodge, 
we made a quick stop at the supermarket where we bought groceries and I also admired some more flowers. Too bad, my plans to return the next day to buy a few of them they didn't really come true because the next day was a Sunday and most retail stores, supermarkets and shopping centers are closed on Sundays in Germany due to strict regulations. Mm. Then it was time to say goodbye to our lovely lodge and the beautiful city. Overall, we did enjoy this trip even more than we thought we would. Would we revisit Germany? Definitely. They owe us money. We need to get back the money for these assets. You know what I mean? And also explore the countryside a lot more. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and consider subscribing to the channel. Till we meet again. Bye.